Okay. No, that's why it's but secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, who else? Good morning. Good morning. Anyone else coming? Amy? Oh, and there's, yeah, I'm sorry, there's Josh. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The most spoiled dog. It's oh. awesome. Oh. <laughs> I know, I am. Wow. And, wow. wow. and then I see Jen and the dogs later. I see Tim. <laughs> Um, I have no hard feelings on you guys not winning any awards. I, I know. I'm actually surprised I didn't get a text message from you. Currently, I almost that was. I'm I'm surprised. Who won? I just get an award. All Justin. We're turning oh, really? Every time we drive back. He's like, he loves it. He's just, I told him only one thing a year. Only one. So, yeah, that was great. I'm looking for you. I know. Yeah. Management. Management. Yeah, they, they were they were for like three weeks on that trade. We have two of those. How are you? Um, no, just a lot of lights. We have tons of lights. Yeah, you're kind of an expert. Uh, yeah. I can see my participants. For taxes. I'm very much but I guess so. Click on the board where it None of them have their video on. That's why. If you click on their video, I mean, usually I have a. I have a um, none of them have their video. I mean, but you're right. You should see a blank screen. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Close. Let me get the technical part there. Are you happy today? Okay. I can't see your smile. Usually I see a free smile. I don't know why. All is good. Good. No. Wow. Oh, that 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 oh, what are these treats for? Like, Wait, motion to chair. Is it, the, <laughs> is, it the, is it the last, last meeting for somebody? Yes, it is. Last, last, last. last, 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 last. We need to tire as consultants. We got We're gonna need to. <laughs> oh, she did. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Oh, yeah. She did. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my god. yeah. Stella Blue, but close enough. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we're. I'm just don't need to sit here. There's lots of ways to get this town. I'm sure we'll still get your information. I don't think you're going anywhere. Yes. Oh, for the next meeting, I'm going to be in Spain. I'm not even sure I can call it, but I'll try. Okay, let's roll for um, happy December, everyone. This is the last meeting of this year, and we have a lot to get through as we wrap up our year. So we will first begin with our roll call. Kathy Breitner. Here. Matt Bugera. Here. Tim Knapp. Here. Josh Baker. Here. Jody Ewing. Nikki nice. Law here. Dana Mulder here. Brian Bedini. Okay. Amy Giller here. And Ella Ruddy here. Okay. We have some public folks this morning. A handful of you. Uh, we have a. Um, yes. It's nice to see everyone. In the, thank you for coming this morning and joining. I guess you guys are normal faces, though. <laughs> Might as well just be a part of us. As you are, as kind of you are. So um, we're just missing two this morning. We have we do have a quorum, so we are going to roll into a lot of work this morning. Let's start first with the approval of our minutes from our last meeting. You've all received them. Okay. May I have a motion to approve, Matthew? Yes. Um, uh, but there's one change. I wasn't here last meeting. Oh. Not that it matters. What? In spirit, we we thought we were here in spirit. There was a ghost sitting in your chair. Yeah, let's make that one correction. Okay, the motion and a support and a correction. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, let's with corrections. Go into our public comment from the Stella. Anything? <laughs> Play public comment. I just want to acknowledge Kathy. She's done an incredible job. So. 
You know, she couldn't get out of here without selling her entire business and her building and actually moving out of town. Uh, but since that happened, so she's gone. So thank you so much for your services. And we will call on you in the future for multiple advice and, and going forward. Thank you. Thank you. It's been fun. And we have a letter recognition for all of your years of service. Oh. From myself and Victor, so thank you oh. so much for all that you've done. Oh. How many years, Debbie? I don't know. <laughs> nine, more than nine, more than two hands. So nine since we re reformed. Yeah. yeah, nine on the board, but yeah. I don't know. I don't remember how many years as chair. Handful. Rob started. I think I, I don't know. Um, we've done a lot. But we came back from the dust. And we have a lot more to do, which is great fun. And it's been great working with all of you and in the community and just focusing on downtown, which is such a great focus to have. And we're glad we're a part of the city. And um, hopefully this board will continue to partner with Victor and council and your staff to get done what needs to get done. So thank you. I will be around. I have offered to assist on uh, the, the writing the TIF paperwork for next year, which is complex. Um, not sure if I'll even be in town for the next couple of meetings, but I, I can join my Zoom. Assuming I have internet in Spain, which is where I'm going to be the next meeting. Okay. Well, we'll be utilizing you for sure. So. <laughs> Looking forward to helping. And I I get to join the group in the audience. So now I'll be fun. That's and awesome. We'll get a translator for the Spanish. To uh, Spanish. I got to work on my babble in the next few weeks. Okay, let's move into our downtown enhancement <coughs> and our learning project coming up. <coughs> really coming up here. All right. So let's share. Can I just, sorry, were there any other public comments? We got. Okay. You're right. No, sorry. I just. Thank you. Good point. Thank you. <laughs> the one public comment I have is that. I had a corporate meeting that got changed uh, by surprise for me from my home office, but, so I will have to leave this meeting early. So I apologize for that, but just it's out of my control. All right, all right. Um, okay, so downtown enhancement committee met, and we started moving forward on the. Downtown Lighting Project. Um, the globes have not yet arrived to verify that they're all the same one that we have. So Dan Healy has not been able to order that. He did um, install over at the light. Um, <laughs> this is kind of wow. interesting. Um, we discussed a lot in the Downtown Enhancement Committee about the color, which was, uh, and we looked at Right now, what had been being put in was the 5,000 um, light Kelvin. We looked at, talked about that 3,000 was probably the, the way we wanted to go. So Dan went ahead and put in three different bulbs um, into, into the light. You can go over and see them for yourselves over by the Legion, right across from the Legion. Um, the bluest one is the 5,000 that's currently there. I mean, the photo makes it look bluer. The, the whiter one is the 4,000, and then this one that's a little bit more muted is the 3,000. These are kind of what the old globes and, and all that you can see. So I think 3,000 is probably the route, you know, the route we wanna go. We've had a couple of people uh, message me asking me about dark sky options. Unfortunately, if we're gonna stick with this, you, we really can't do that because it's gonna, it would mean that half the globe be dark. I mean, it would look kind of strange. Mm. So going down to a more muted color, like the 3000, I think. We do it. have five globes on each um, light post. So I think even at the 3000 yeah. will be. Not all right of them. Now. Some have just three. Yeah, some have three, five, some have four, okay. some have, they're, they're all different. Um, I did speak with um, Dan and um, Lucas about if they had a preference as far as the the light color and brightness, just because you know for safety or anything like that, and chief and um, I think everybody's okay with the wattage that it that that we have the existing wattage, but going to that color. So as long yeah, as Victor and Kyle, you're both okay with the three thousand. 
I like the three thousand. And Dan's okay with the three thousand. Correct. The committee has discussed this, and the, that's what we felt would work both for safety and also Dark Sky. So, then what's next? Okay. So we will um, we'll be going with the three thousand. Um, he'll be able to keep order the those. same wattage. Yep, keep the same wattage. He's going to bring the globes in just to verify. I think just looking at if it is the these are the new globes. So if it is if it matches, I think we're okay with then going ahead and ordering the rest of them. Yes. Yes. Okay. And he he does he he will have a sample. Does he have any? Is this a supply chain issue? I'm not, yeah, okay. he just hasn't gotten it in. He said he, and I, cause I asked him this week if he okay. was able to order and he said he hasn't been able to verify the, the globe yet. So I don't so know. So I guess, Margo, let's just leave this with you and Dan when the feedback <laughs> comes in and it's what he expected and proceed with the order. Does that make sense? Yeah, sounds good. And we have a final price tag. Yeah, we approved that. Uh, yeah, we approved that. Time. Let's see. Don't have it pulled up right here because it's that. And then that will, if all goes well, depending on when those globes come in sometime January and February, we'll have all new lighting downtown. Yes. Okay. And I'm still checking because the city's probably going to be switching clean energy providers. Um, now the state doesn't require it um, for us to participate in a clean energy program, but the city decides to still go forward with looking at a vendor. It may have some rebates Good. available. Um, Great. I'm not sure about that, but I will still look into that to see if the rebates are, are possible. Okay. We're because we're looking at the rebates for our chiller, city hall chiller as well. So it's going to make a huge difference downtown and we have a mishmash. Yes. Um and the changeover will begin in 2022. Dan said that he's not he won't start until after probably the right. new year. But and it won't be and it won't happen, it won't happen one day. <laughs> I just want to take that clear. It's not gonna happen one day. He's gonna roll it out as he has time, and but it right. will be done by um the, the new season. So. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Let's move into the merchant walkway. Yes. Yeah, so we had, we got our questions answered. Do you want to address those of what questions were answered? We did have a lot of conversation about uh, the what the city has, what the what is shared by the property owners along the way. So I guess for us, it's just. We were looking at bidding it perhaps in three ways to bid out the replacement of the city chunk, which is the area around the fountain and the fountain removal, and then moving up to the steps, which is on an easement piece of property that we have worked on before, but it is easement property. Up to, but not including the steps? The steps, steps are, not, are in great shape, Yeah, but the wall, adjacent to the wall, um, there is some... Some uh, I, I'm not sh I don't think it's support issues, but there are some cracking issues that could just be dealt with. With stucco. Yep. With stucco. Do we have any updated bids on we those? We do not have any. I've I've reached out to them and waiting to hear on okay. the the wall. We have the original um, quote from Cubs Masonry on the fountain and removal of that. But um, as far as him repairing the wall and the walkways, now we we are still waiting on that, and we're still waiting from the other. People. I haven't heard right. Did you say the there are three options? What was the well, the three option was do the main space, and then the second option was the easement space adjacent to the fountain, and then the third option, or third addition, could be repair of the wall. So right now we have a, an eyesore and a, a somewhat of a safety issue with the brick walkway. Um, I think maybe I also forgot we were doing the looking at the bricks adjacent um, mm -hmm. behind. Graham, yes, that's on our easement. Yes, so we still have some answers. So Jim, we did hear from Jim Raymer, and he felt one wall of the the fountain is uh, is not on owned by the city. It's kind of strange how it's put that way, um, but being that it's been there for thirty years, it, he felt that I don't remember the terms. Um, but basically, it was the city's property. So we basically have anyway. a right to do with it as long as it's for the purposes of easement. Okay. Testing. And then he also said that we had the right to maintain and work on the walkways where we have the easement. Great. 
So we're making progress. Good. So that should probably be a spring project, I'm assuming. Yes. So it'd be nice to have that fixed by summer. And just to confirm, both the lighting project and that project are being funded by the funds that the DDA has acquired through the years and, and will be paid for by the DDA That's and correct. not the city fund. That's correct. Okay, yeah. double check. It is our project. Is that our plan? Yes. Um, the merchant's walkway um, is and the lights are both on our TIF plan. And so we can use both TIF or assessment money for that. Great. Okay. The next month, next couple of months, Tim, uh, <laughs> there's some work that needs to be done. <laughs> okay. Yes. Can we talk about Tony? Oh, Tony. Yeah, that would be great. I okay. have put in several calls to him okay. and asked him for it with the deadline, but he. <laughs> okay, let's move into Ice Fest. Ice Fest. Okay. Which is next month. Well, no. No, 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 no. I'm like, little, no, little no. after. I'm like, no, 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 the no, 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 Ah, sorry. Um, okay. Use the little that no that one. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. cute. All right. So this is the sponsorship package that's going out to um, to the sponsor. You know, to to potential sponsors and businesses. We'd like to include some residents this year um, to do an. Um, to do sculptures. I know the Mulders did last year. I don't know if we could find some other like people that would be interested in having a sculpture either downtown or in the in the interactive park that we're trying to create Soren Park to be more of an interactive um, demonstration and uh, you know, winter activity um, uh, area of, of fat tire bikes again. Hopefully we can get Josh's snowshoes back um, and we're also looking at the sled dogs. I did talk to, unfortunately we can't, I have not been located, able to locate anyone to do the horse-drawn carriage. The, the people that we used in the past are not able to do it. And a couple other people that I've reached out to that used to do it have retired since and nobody seems to have it. Tim had a great idea about doing just um, kids because he knows of a pony and, and sleigh that were just maybe a small little it's a miniature horse, not even a pony. I mean the horse is the size of my dog. Yeah. But it's a miniature horse. So I I will reach out to them and, and see if we can get some more activities like that. But if you know of anybody or other activities, any of that feedback would be really helpful. This is the sponsorship packet that's going out this year. This is an um we're now showing different levels of sponsorship, um, what you get with it as far as social media, print ads, new, you know, radio ads, things like that. So it's, this is really good. Oops, that's, um, this is, I named all the sponsors, the Avalanche sponsor, the Blizzard sponsor, the Snowball sponsor, and the Snowflake sponsor. And um, for 25, we did raise the price on the sculptures because the Rock on Ice has raised their wholesale cost to us. and. Um, we had to hopefully that will not you know detract from people's willingness to sponsor we had such great success with over 40 sculptures last year we'll see i had a question um mm -hmm. you could go back to that first page mm -hmm. i think the graphics are really cute on this um and we've talked about this before but it'd be nice to like have uniform branding across everything ice fest related like are we doing the same banners last year or? no that we i did I did go up into the attic and look, and we do not have, we did not create a new banner last year. So I just think it's really important to, to try and if we do flyers or whatever, yes. that we have the same. So my daughter, uh, graphic too. designer, did oh, she oh, created the, the really logo cute. for yeah. us, and the and she also made it a little funny, a little like ice cube snowman and stuff, so we can use that on our mm -hmm. on our things. But um, just to be consistent, yeah. Just and then I think that's great, but yeah, we need to make a banner and. Um, 
get that out there. That's on the list. And just one more thing. I don't know if you want to talk about Winterfest, Rachel. Um, okay. It's coming up in January, and we just okay. had a brief discussion about it. Can, can we not let jump there yet? Yes, absolutely yeah. not. Can, did, did you send, could you, do we all have the latest copy of that? No, no and I had only sent you, the, the promotions committee, Okay. In progress, but okay. now, yeah, we can. Right. Could you send us that new copy just to be able to review? Because yeah. I made comments on last night. Right. I don't know if you saw my email from yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. what you've done is great. So, I, but we just, I'd just love to be able to review that. Okay. Yep. One, one more time. Yep. All right. And so the next one, um, we have four levels. Four twenty-five is your is your sculpture. Um, your pre-carved sculpture. 550 starts at the live demonstration. If you'd like a live demonstration of a, of a single block sculpture in front of your business, or um, there's also a couple, couple, couple options of like an ice cornhole, ice tic-tac-toe, ice ring toss. I think the city would be perfect to sponsor an ice cornhole. <laughs> um, then we have a blue. Maybe a snowball hole. Snowball hole. That's a cornhole. Well, yeah, yeah, we can call it that. <laughs> and then Blizzard sponsor, um, which is more interactive. I don't know if you remember the the um, oh, photo frame we did last yes. year. That would be, fall under that kind of thing, or the Ice Throne, um, any of those larger interactive sculptures. And then the Avalanche sponsor, oh, you know, getting somebody to sponsor hopefully the dueling chainsaws or this fire and ice tower, which is really cool. Could be a main activity of the event. Um, the event. Um, contract, go out, and then um, sculpture list choices. Perfect. So we're What's great. moving along. And so Pappas will be going to potential everyone that all the businesses everyone that has done in the past. And then if you guys have more people, well, as I said, residents. Have, we have talked about too, quickly um, taking out an ad in the Harbor Light to call upon the community members to see if they were interested at all in, in um, doing a sculpture or any type of activity in the park. I think just do making that park a little bit more, like we talked about, more interactive for families and we're gonna not do the chili cook off this year. It'll be a really good way to keep it. Good idea. Keep a lot of stuff going on with keeping it all outside and safe. Um, but yeah, I think the ad with like a quick link that people could grab the grab the sponsorship form from the right. website. Could the chamber newsletter have a little blurb in it too? Sure. Mm -hmm. Asking people mm -hmm. if they're interested to get in touch with. Yep. Just send us a word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm looking forward to this. It's always a great event. It's a great way to celebrate both winter and our downtown. Uh, last year, in the midst of a pandemic, we had 40 sculptures and a lot of people on a very cold weekend just wanting to walk around and look at them. So it's, it's a fun weekend. Thank you, committee, for all your work on that. Okay, should we feed in with the, with Rachel's Winterfest right now? Sure. And so the Marina Parks Committee Parks Department, we're holding a winter fest at Kiwanis Park. It'll be January 15th. There's going to be a s'more making over solo stoves, sledding. Um, there's going to be a heated tent, some crafts for kids. It's going to be very kid oriented. Um, and then we have some other games and stuff set up like snowman building, uh, snow painting. Um, things like that. The goal is to actually staff Kiwanis this year um, on the weekends, potentially. Great. Um, the lights got set up yesterday to be turned on. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of just to bring involvement back to back to Kiwanis. Oh, that's that's pretty pretty exciting. Exciting. Great. 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 Yeah, just some beginning discussions about is Winterfest a little confusing with Ice Fest? And are we getting an awful lot of fests? Everybody has fests. I just, I just thought the exact same thing though. Yeah. So like what's my the worries are that we're gonna we're gonna there, the want to fast or want a carnival or just what's yeah and I mean, see Winterfest and uh be going like where are all the ice sculptures? Yeah, I can you know? see that. Yeah, so we'll talk that's on our discussion list for our um 
December 15th meeting. We'll discuss. It's great to talk about it. Also, if we do an edit paper, we can talk about it. We can co mingle them and just say Winterfest is going to be kid oriented and quiet. Ice Fest will be downtown ice sculpture. I mean, that might be. No, Amy says no. No, too, think think we're too, adding, too much information. Yeah. Too much yeah. Like, what am I, so what am I doing? So what am I going to participate in? What I can do this free, but this is sponsored. And so I don't, there I, needs to be conversation about that because I wouldn't, I wouldn't <coughs> come together. Could you, could you, have you talked about doing yeah. it at Kalanis the same weekend as Ice Fest weekend? And just having one big that. weekend? I, I don't, I mean, I don't that's, really think that there's really going to be, I wouldn't yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. do that because to. because the point yeah. is to pull people downtown, yeah. not, Absolutely. not yeah. uptown. Yeah. Absolutely. But I also Thank don't you. think that, I mean, Ice Fest has, we, this is, this is multiple years in a row. I don't think that it's going to get confusing because all of their print is going to have Kiwanis. It's not going to have any part of downtown. So anybody who is reading anything at all well and the publicity is going to come out at separate time yeah so i don't, I don't, I don't know. Know. the publicity for the winter fest probably i mean yeah we'll probably do like it'll be over and done with yeah. Yeah. Wait, Wait, right. fest ever happens. Yeah. i mean, really don't want to yeah. sound i don't want to sound rude but honestly if anybody's confusing the two it's because they're literally not reading anything yeah. Yeah. which we all people know. which people I mean, don't do I mean, yeah well yeah but, <laughs> I, but yeah. i mean Really, I think that the Winterfest will it'll be over and done before. Yeah. You'll I mean, be pushing to get people to yeah. sponsor Ice Fest, but not attend yet. It yeah. would, it I, would just, I think it's just worthy of a conversation to yeah. look at a different Absolutely. label of what it is. Say it's the exact same thing, but it just could help alleviate. I mean, even yeah. if you put Kiwanis in the name somewhere, yeah. Kiwanis is Winterfest. Mm -hmm. You know, something where you're you're putting in the yeah. and that was when we did the downtown or Carnival Harbor Springs. Yeah. Kind of I, yeah. 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 I agree yeah. with the name um, celebration in discussing TV. I think the first year, no matter what, there'll be like a couple questions where like yeah. what are the differences, yeah. but mm -hmm. that's just gonna happen. Winter is actually one day. day. Yeah. 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 And, just, and is it just one day? It's yeah. just one day and it's like three hours long. It's eleven to two. Oh, it's yeah. like fall fest. Maybe so, maybe even this yeah. removing the word fest yeah. Yeah. would alleviate yeah. someone's confusion yeah. there. Yeah. 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 And Rachel, we have a donor for that, right? Correct. Yeah. So that the Winter Fest is being funded by a donor. That's right. again always wonderful right. to have yeah. multiple activities yeah. in the community right. and multiple partners. That's great. Right. In pulling it off, so that's so wonderful. Thank you for your efforts. And maybe just coordinate with our committee on how to best push both events. Okay, we're moving into the budget. Budget committee met yesterday. <laughs> so the budget, we can walk through it. Um, change a lot. Um, our projected TIF um, assessment revenue is forty three thousand dollars for twenty twenty two, with um, our assessment our to the property owners is $46,000, our downtown assessment. And Mark, with those TIF, right, is a combination of city, school. The and TIF, the yes, the TIF okay. is a combination of um, the city, the, the library, no, not the library. The school, the cemetery. school and the cemetery. cemetery. Not school. the library, not, not the school. school. The college. City, college. college. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's start. Yeah. The city, college, and the cemetery pay into, <clears throat> pay into the TIF. And, um, and so yes, the city only makes up one portion of that. And then the assessment is an assessment that goes directly to the downtown property owners um, within the CBD. And um, that um, would not be, that's other revenue that wouldn't be there without the DDA. Um, so the, um, and then we have down for the ice fest, this is a this is a pretty low estimate. This was with thirty um, sculptures at four twenty five. This doesn't you know it could include even you know we've already put the grant in for the Petoskey Area Visitors Bureau grant, um, but I thought it was a pretty conservative estimate at twelve thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars of revenue coming um, The cha only change we have here is. Uh, salary increase as we've kind of discussed it would have to be voted on um of the three percent uh, and nick included that but based on the conversations we've had um i apologize for another immediate time 
Get to take Stella with you? Yes. <laughs> it's up to her. Right? Somebody else can bring her later. I've got a dog, but she can stay if she wants. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you want to say, what? <laughs> okay. Um, going down the pretty common the worksman's comp office expenses postage operating we have nine thousand dollars for uh, contractual services that's usually typically like benchmark and joe o'neill um if particularly if we're going to move forward on the merchant's walkway and we need some funding there um wayfinding is just ongoing maintenance and like this year we redid the um the kiosks downtown and put re resurfaced them with directories. So that covers that. Um, we have a $10,000 in expenses for ice fest. I think that we'll probably end up doing better than a, a $2,000 difference we have in the, over the last couple of years. It's actually um, <coughs> that's more like just over $5,000 each year um, over the last two years, but that's, that's what we put. We put in other um, events that we might have if we were to pursue a brew fest or anything like that for next year. Um, marketing, then $25,000 for downtown projects. This covers the um, light glow project as well as things like the third street lights, the ongoing lighting of those trees that we voted on um, to have year round on, on those lights and then um, any other projects that come up the year um the, our audit um legal expenses this is also we you know our our cost when we consult jim raymer the city attorney um uh dues and trainings if i go to any any conferences along with our membership to the michigan downtowns association publications um insurance and other miscellaneous expenses so this does not reflect our current um, $100,000 fund balance, which is what we would be um, looking to use with, for the um, merchant's walkway. But so we're in a really good, good <clears throat> point, good standing. Um, any questions, comments, thoughts? It's always interesting when we put these budgets together to see where the pieces of our income come from. The city contributes somewhere around 25,000 a year uh, through TIF, and that 25 begats nearly 100,000 because of the DDA. So there we get the additional funding from the other TIF partners as well as the assessment. So that lets us be the people focusing on town, you maybe the, the special projects, extra people, extra projects things that might not be in the city budget. For example, the lighting project uh, is not in the capital plan and it has always been in our DDA plan. So we are allowed to complete projects like that, probably also given the budget and the uh, Headley um, override result. Virtual walkway probably was not high on the list of, of repairing, even though it's most likely a liability for an injury. So that is something we can do. And it just shows the value of cities having projects um, attached to a DDA because a DDA can bring in funds that augment the city's overall funding picture. So this is our budget for next year. This will go to council next week. Mm -hmm. Monday, and we're gonna present the budget, the overall budget to council on Monday, <clears throat> be a public hearing. Uh, on December 13th, and then any suggested changes from the council to the budget, um, whether it's any part of the budget, will be voted on for final budget on December 20th. So it's a three week process all of December. Comments or questions about our budget? One piece of it that does need action is that we did make a motion on both. Both? Uh, okay, well, first part I'm going to do is that we need a motion from this body to provide the 3% salary increase to Margo. May I have a motion in that effect? Motion. Dana, support? Support. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So that, that goes into play. Work with Nick on timing. I believe your one year is, your two, year. two years is 
now. So too far, two years have gone by quickly, hasn't it? And then our second motion is for the budget in its entirety. I'll make a motion. Okay, support. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we have now approved this budget. And as I recall, we can alter budget throughout the year with conversation of this body and, and um, vote. So it's, it's while this is what our guiding light is for next year, should things change, we may re, you may revisit it. Okay, we out of there. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, let's move into uh, the director update. Okay, just a couple things. Um, we did Bear River, you know, if you recall, there was an accident on Third Street that the tree had to come down, the lights had to be removed. And so we went ahead and Bear River did come and move the conduit from that tree because that's not going to be replaced and moved it down to the tree next to it. Um, the cost on that was $500. Um, I'm still working to figure out the whole insurance issue because it was an accident with as far as taking out the tree and the, these costs. But um, so that that was handled. I'm waiting to hear from the holiday lighting guy who lit the other trees to as to when he's going to be available to to come light um, those. He's really busy right now. I guess presumably <laughs> with holiday lights. Um, I will be going to council on next Monday as well on December 6th to do the DDA update, just kind of the status of where the DDA is, our budget, you know, not really the budget, but what we're, um, what we've accomplished over the past year, um, where we are, where we stand financially and what we're planning to do next year, which includes the lights and things like that. So um, that'll be pretty, just a, you know, a update to them. Uh, the other thing we have is that we do need to complete our TIF plan, um, our renewal by September of 2022. So I would like to suggest forming a committee of people that might be willing to work on that. I know uh, Kathy is willing to get, to work on it, not as a in an official yeah. position, which is which is great. Um, but anyone else that would would be interested. I know Nick and I will be part of that committee as well. Jim needs to be a part of that. It's actually, it's as tedious as it is. It's a fun process. There are so many steps to do this. It's not easily accomplished by cities. Um, but the state law makes it such so that we do it right. So it, it's a chance to look at the finances and look at projects uh, in the future that might benefit downtown. Can do it. Can it. And I also would kind of just, as, since I'll be stepping into the community role here, all of our committees could perhaps we should look at having, you should look at having community members be a part of those if, to better connect with what's going on if people are willing. Mm -hmm. We also um, have. Since this is, as we know, this is Kathy's last meeting. We we do need to fill her spot, um, and I know Matt will be recommending somebody. Um, but I don't. We've reached out. We're in the process of reaching out to see if there are anybody Some names we can help with. And the next at the January meeting, as is the standard for every January, the officers for this group are elected. <laughs> I say my recollection is we pick our own chair for this committee. Yes. So, so in January, then. Yes. And I think a couple of people might be coming up or their terms might be expiring. So we'll have some move in. No, just me. Oh, you're the I don't know how that happened, but I'm the only just one. Kathy. It's just Kathy this year. Um, we've, we've had one or two applicants, I think, for it. So yeah. council will decide that with all the other boards and committees um, applications, December 20th. Normally there are a couple of us rolling off, but the other person or two that came with me left uh, already for other reasons. So that's why I'm the only one this time. Okay. Yeah, we, we finally got our boards kind of back on track. We started out replacing people um, as if they left in the middle of their term, we appointed them to a new term instead of just having that person 
complete to complete that person's term. So now we're back on track to having people just complete a term instead of if they leave in the middle of the term or get appointed in the middle of the term serving three years. So now we're trying to get back on track with that. So hopefully okay. it works. Okay, so you'll have work to do in January. So that is what I have, right? Any other information we need to be diving into today? I did have one, it's more of a public comment. Um, I, I've gotten, and I, and I would like to ask Bonnie, because I've gotten various feedback just as far as some of the, the things you've done a great job having these events, you know, with the tree lighting and um, the ladies night out. The feedback I've gotten from people is that the stores weren't open. So I'd like to figure out a way, what can we do to, I mean, the restaurants were great, but I've heard there was an hour long wait for a restaurant, you know, but, the, but there was nowhere to go in between, you know, on some of that stuff. And so I don't know, talking to you, I mean, you've done an awesome job getting people, you know, getting these events to happen, but I just, I've heard, you know, well, there's no stores open. Why, you know, what, what are we, what are we supposed to do? So I don't know. So ladies weekend, we did put a survey out and we will be modifying it next year. Hopefully as long as we can congregate in large groups, it will either be one evening and an all day or just one day. Um, probably, I mean, it will be a weekend. It'll probably be a Saturday. Um, so that will be modified. Uh, you know, the big thing is, is none of us can demand a business be open. So we are still beholden to what our businesses decide to do. Tree lighting traditionally, my understanding is businesses are not open tree lighting. And that's my understanding. Has that been different in the past? No, it's not okay. open. So that is sort of like, well, that, is, that just is what it is. Open house, I have gotten a whole lot of mixed information. Some businesses would chop my right arm off if we don't have it and other businesses are not going to participate. So, and we, again, I have no, we don't have power over that. Um, it is up to the individual businesses on what they're comfortable with. And, I, and I, I'm good with that because I think that's how, how our businesses should perform, perform particularly this year particularly for open house. Um, open house in the future, it'd be great for everybody to be open, but that still is never gonna be the case. Yeah. I think we, we tweak and modify events to try to capture as much as possible. And, and I think that's all we can do. You know, our night of the arts, we had tons of businesses open that evening. We didn't have all the businesses open, but it was geared very specifically. And those businesses did have to register. So they, they planned, they paid to do that. So they definitely opened other. And then the businesses who obviously weren't participating didn't open. What do you, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I mean, Nikki and Josh are two I mean, business owners. I don't know if there's, I mean, do you have any recommendations as, I mean, as far as like, would people, prefer to be outside, I mean, like an outside, like a sidewalk, you know, kind of thing, you know, I don't know. I mean, well, given the, kind of the events, I, 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 think, I think the comments that I've gotten, I mean, particularly for ladies, I got just because people knew I was involved with it in the past. So a lot of people had reached out to me. People wanted it in the evening, the way that it was before without the change. Um, that was the main comment that I got because there wasn't any, any shops open in the evening. It was during the day when regular businesses were open. Um, as far as open house, before COVID, most businesses were open for open house. Um, we came down. We never part. I personally never participated because the streets were are closed off at the church, which is right before me. So there was really no reason for me to participate. And honestly, I liked being downtown and going to that. We I use that night to start my shopping. So, and from my recollection, a lot of businesses were open pre-COVID. So if we can get back to that point, my concern is. Angry. My concern was with ladies night out is if it gets changed too much that that it'll be hard to bring that event back and it was an event that was super successful before COVID. Um, we had lots of businesses open we collected, you know, when Justin and I would walk around to collect the passports we were collecting well over 100 to 150 passports at a time um, for the drawing so hopefully that event will be brought back the exact same way that it was before COVID would be my recommendation. Um, and somebody who was super busy on that night. Um, it was a really good night financially 
for the businesses, and at least in my opinion. I do think part of all of this, it's really hard right now to try to, like, to eat pre-COVID, you know, that's sort of, it's like, there were a lot of different things that happened pre-COVID. So, I mean, I agree. Uh, I had businesses thank me for not asking them to stay open that night. So, I mean, again, I always get mixed information and mixed reviews on much of these things. Um, but um, most of our businesses don't stay open in the evening in the summer. I mean, they, you know, it's, and I've had people say, well, why does that happen? I'm like, that's true. what they choose to do. Yeah. It's what they choose to do. And I think that's sort of a forever question um, and a, a bit of a moving target that I think people modify based on their needs and staffing. Staffing is a huge issue. Um, and many of our businesses are, I, for you, I know that's really hard and you, you, you switch up how you do some of your scheduling. Maybe some people had said, well, we weren't going to be able to do a one night anyway, because we don't have the staff. So um, we will be working our way back towards an evening again, night of the arts. And it was an evening and people, but they, it was, you must register. You must pay in the minute somebody paid for it. Then there's a commitment made and a, and a planning for them. Um, I'm, I don't want to, yeah. and we probably could do that with ladies night, but that, again, that's one day. And I think part of the conversation isn't just one in two days. It's businesses pick and choose what they're going to do in the evenings throughout the entire year. I and did when and if they're going to be open. I went to ladies night in Petoskey and there were, it was mm -hmm. so lightly attended, I felt compared to both previous years and our weekend, at least our three-day weekend away to salvage something in a COVID environment, brought a lot of business into people. It was different, yeah. but life is different right now. Hopefully next time. What, are, what did you see, Josh? We're going to be closed for open house. Yeah. Um, and I know that's a big bummer, so I'm sorry. I don't control it. <laughs> yeah, but to your point, that's kind of where it is. Like you can't force anyone. That's been like you can yeah. barely forced. You can barely get to keep the sidewalk shovel. <laughs> um, but so in in our mind, this last year and this year, just not the years to do it for for open house. And we're the biggest physical space. And we're going to cram two hundred people shoulder to shoulder. Right. It's going to be a disaster in our store. And I'm just I'm not willing to put my staff or so, so I'm not doing so, it. So, but next year, I think we're we'll be back. You know, if, if things are better, we'll be back. And in the in the the evenings, this we simply don't have the staff to do it um, to to stay open all summer. And I think the reason the Art Fest is so, or sorry, Night of the Arts is okay. so popular is because it's in the summer, and all those stores that are closed now are open. True. There's no, I mean, if, if you look downtown right now, I remember when we started uh, ladies night, we'd walk around and I was shocked. We had like 23 businesses. Now, like, I didn't know there were 23 businesses open. Yeah. But so there, there are, I guess there are more than, than we think, but still it is so hard. And now is the time when you see owner operators mm -hmm. running their stores and we're exhausted. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, <laughs> Nikki, <laughs> we're beat down right, right yeah. now. So, um, so yeah. it's it's a tough time to do anything like that. I think, uh, but I do see a kind of a reopening next year when this all settles down. I think Ladies' Night as a one night thing would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, it, it went from always on the fifteenth to a weekend, which brought more people in. Yeah. Um, traditionally, for the tree lighting, uh, a couple of years ago, I opened our doors. I was the only guy open. And then Andy looked across and he's like, oh, you're going to be open? I got it. So Andy opened his door. So it was one of those things where we just opened the door and people stopped in. This year, I, I, I literally I looked around and I'm like, I'm not opening my door because people are just walking around looking at the windows. Uh, I'm not going to open my door. Yeah. So it is a window and I think there. it was, in, to be really honest, I think that's kind of nice. I kind of felt and so too. And give the shop owners <laughs> an evening to enjoy 
the event itself. But well, yeah. right, yeah. otherwise you don't get to participate. The windows. I mean, that's a, oh, I know. That's in, kind in, of what in, I thought. I agree. And in incorporating the announcing of yeah. you know the contest. <laughs> um, it does. It gets people to go look at the windows. Um, everything that we do is always up for conversation and morphing because it, it, what fits or might work one year might not work another or what, what we think might be a fun try maybe it doesn't work and that's okay. And, and it's great to try. Yeah. And it's a great to say, oh, that didn't work so well. Let's try something else. Yeah. So. And retail for the last two years has been an experiment. All together. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Same with restaurants. I mean, it's nice. been a huge experiment. Like, ah, what the hell? We'll try this. <laughs> so yeah. I think in the next year, it's going to kind of settle itself down. But I hope. I mean, I'm one of those people who have always seemed to learn more from screw ups because it settles in with you and you see the both sides of the issue. And sometimes there are just screw ups. We just picked the wrong weekend or rains out of our control. There's so many things that factor into this. But it's, we're always moving. That's the good part. It's, chamber does stuff. We do stuff. It's great that we're all we're here together. Looking forward to this weekend. Yeah. See how it goes. <laughs> Steel drum band will be here. <laughs> Streets will be closed. So, you know, I mean, and honestly, I think for a lot of people that should be the fun is, you know, be out in the streets and be outside and enjoy the steel drum and, People having expectations of food and beverage and all of that just should not happen. I mean, I removed all of that from our publicity because I don't, that's well, not the expectation. If, if we were going to be open, and Bonnie and I talked about this, and I said we're 50 50. If we we're going to do it, we we're going to try and move everything out to the back parking lot. Oh. But then it literally would be the back lot at the outfitter. Oh, and okay. then Chief Knight's crew would be like, are you kidding me? Yeah. That's what, I mean, literally, yeah, I'd be having a party in my parking lot. And I decided, no, it's not. Yeah. We're not going to yeah. do that. Yes. It's, it's not a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> <I don't, laughs> like, Graham's approached me, and they're going to have some of their stuff on, most of their stuff on the sidewalk. Okay. In front. They did not want to own business. Not and Berkshire right. Hathaway is doing the same thing. They're going to have people petty corner in yeah. the doorway. And right. so I have people gotten creative in how they're doing things. Now, those are two businesses that you don't necessarily need people to walk in the door to see what it is your business is or to participate. Sure. Um, and then I know other businesses that are going to have their doors wide open and they can't wait. Sure. Right. So, okay. Anything else on our agenda list? Uh, anything from the public either here or on Zoom or YouTube? And if not, let's adjourn for 2021. And you will all gather again in January to start anew. Thanks again, Kathy. Thank, 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 Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Thanks. <laughs>